Infrastructure in Australia is a very valuable asset and it's fundamental to how the whole of Australia actually operates. So at the moment, the infrastructure in Australia is ageing. Um, we've also got some fantastic new assets, but there's also a lot of ageing infrastructure. The state government has a massive infrastructure program um, at the moment, and it, it's about building new infrastructure, but also making better use of our existing infrastructure. And a level crossing removal does both of those things. Um, and so in this case, the, the new elevated structure that was going over the level crossings needed to be fabricated and put into place uh, in a very short space of time during the occupation of the rail. And so we needed to find solutions to move these very large loads to get them in place. Metro Rail wanted to allow only 60 days for the rail uh, line to be out of service and that meant that we had to fabricate uh, the uh, new beams for the bridge um, off-site uh, in Kilmore in uh, north of Melbourne and transport those extremely heavy beams uh, down to Frankston uh, once they were cast. We needed to know whether these structures were able to continue to take the loads day after day. Uh, we were moving them overnight and we needed to know by midday the next day whether or not the next load was good to go. This project was very special because it involved heavy loads, it involved multiple movements of these heavy loads. These multiple movements occurred over multiple bridges, over multiple nights, and we had to develop the solutions in a very compressed time frame. My initial reaction when they told us the time frame was that it was extraordinarily ambitious, but that if anybody could do it, we could do it. In the Department of Civil Engineering, from academics, postgraduate students, administrative staff, technical staff in the laboratory, we have the complete package. We are a one-stop shop for structural health monitoring. They could come to us, ask us a question, uh, one point of contact, and they can actually get an outcome, which is part of the reason we're able to provide a response in a very short space of time. We had to install systems that didn't interfere with any traffic flow underneath or on top of the bridges, uh, and this limited our options greatly. Um, once we had installed the systems, we then had to provide real-time monitoring information to Vic Roads as the load traversed the bridge each evening, and then we had to provide re daily reports by noon the following day showing that the movements of the bridges were acceptable. We had to trust that advice and because of the established relationship and because we knew who we were dealing with, we knew that we could trust that advice. We were really pushing the envelope here with these loads that were being moved. This wasn't something that was precedented in terms of the number of loads and, and the weight of the loads. We, we don't do that very often at all. And so for us to be able to do that, the partnership with Monash was really critical. What we achieved was demonstrating that the bridges could carry those heavy loads without any damage. The Level Crossing Removal Authority has delivered their project, but at the same time, our structures, we know, are sound and able to continue to carry their loads in the future.